All right, yes guys, you read the title right. This is a Dollar Tree haul video. I have not been around for a while, so I stocked up. It's kind of a large haul. Super excited to show you some new items, some food items, some decor items, and much, much more. So let's check it out. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into some deals I found. These were items of the week. I have no idea how these work. This is the Rapid Egg Cooker. Um, in the microwave, it makes scrambled eggs, omelets, and more dishwasher safe, reusable, and BPA free. So basically all it is, is it's this bowl. That's pretty much all it is. So whether it works or not, not too sure, but I grabbed that. Along with that, they had the rapid oatmeal cooker. So these are kind of like, they remind me of like the as seen on TV. It's new. Um, this one is you just pour the oats, you fill the line, add water, microwave for two minutes and enjoy. So um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. And then actually I picked up the Rapid Brownie Maker, which is probably the only one that I'll wanna even try. The other ones, and again, it's microwavable. I'm not one to really, um, utilize my microwave more than i need to but this is the makes perfect brownies in the microwave in under four minutes so this comes with the brownie tray and it has a brownie easy ingredient box so these were right at the front of the store and i did get some good food items i grabbed these seven spritzer cherry limeade sparkling waters so for a dollar there's four in here is there four or there's there's eight, there's eight slim cans. So let's open this up and see how slim they are. All right, so there are, there are eight of these little cans. These are four grams of sugar, no added sugar, non-GMO, naturally flavored cherry limeade, sparkling water plus real fruit juice equals spritzer. So 8.4 fluid ounces, there are eight of these. Um, I picked up, I love when they have these cookie packs. I mean, four for a dollar, you can't beat them. These are the rainbow chocolate chip cookies. This was a super awesome find. Um, they had the Special K Touch of Honey Granola. This is the 11.3 ounce package. Hello Dollar Tree Special K Granola. Huge savings. This is over $3 at the store. So um, just the touch of honey was the only flavor that they had. And then finally, to round out the food deals, I did get these Mr. Brownie Rich Moist Blondie Bites. Now there are five of these in a package and I'm gonna open these up as well. These are showing an expiration date of December. Hello. Um, okay, so they're really small but there are five little, I mean, these are perfect, five little brownie treats in there. So a neat little food find. All right, so I got two new little makeup bags. I love these makeup bags. These are the Main Street Tote Cosmetics bags. One is this really cute flamingo pattern. These are great in the summertime to have in your tote bags, whether you're going to the park, to the pool, you can keep a little bit of extra money. You can keep any makeup that you need. Um, that's what I buy these for. I keep them in my tote bags or you can even keep them in your car, um, you know, and just put like Kleenex or maybe um, some aspirin, just little things that you need. But this one has cute pineapples on it. So super excited about those. Then I did grab some old Williamsburg candles. I don't know if these are old on the scene probably some of the things that i have purchased might be old because i haven't done a haul in a while but this is the fig and sandalwood scented candle these are really cute dainty little jars these are great to reuse for like tea light candles or um you know you can definitely reuse them they have like a nice little um glaze to them and a pattern really pretty or you can just use them for like rings little you know earrings little things that you kind of misplace but um, this one smells pretty good. Again, it's Old Williamsburg Fig and Sandalwood. Very pretty. These are nice, I always say teacher appreciation, gifts type things to kind of buy while, they, while Dollar Tree has them. And then this one is, oh my God. I know I'm not gonna say this right. Mandarin patchouli, if I said that wrong. Um, I said that wrong, sorry, probably. Oh my God, this one smells awesome. 
This one smells really, really good. So they just had these two scents, but old Williamsburg candle, new to me. I don't know if they're new to you guys. Okay, I was really excited to see these super cute lunch tower, these storage containers. They had like gray, they had pink. I love this color, so I grabbed this one. I really wanted to grab more, but I had to hold myself back because that's the thing with Dollar Tree, just the way that they are on the shelf. When it's something new, you just want to jump and buy a whole bunch. So I just grabbed one. So my husband was with me at the time. He's like, I am not taking that to work. So I knew it was going to be a me thing and I knew the kids wouldn't take them either. But these are really cute. So it's the little tower, it screws open. So you have a really neat compartment here for like veggies, anything that you might want to go ahead. There's a little, um, container for like ranch dressing, something that you want to put in there, hummus, whatever you want to put um, for your lunch. And then at the top, it opens as well. So you can put something in here, whether you want to put, um, you know, fruit, separate the fruit from the veggies, but it's a really neat container. Um, and I probably will end up getting a couple, like even for meal prep for the week, if you're just, you know, having the same snacks and you just want a couple of these to kind of like get yourself ready and prepped for the week, these would work really good. I did find some really cute signs that I love from Dollar Tree. This first one says, stand tall and be sweet. So it's a cute little pineapple. Um, this would be great on an accent wall if you just need a small little picture to kind of fill in like a collage of pictures, but so, so cute. And I do have pictures at the end of this video of other things that I just did not grab because there was a lot of stuff going on at Dollar Tree this week. This one says, be a unicorn in a field of horses. Now, it's like a really deep purple. I'm gonna rip through the package here. Um, and then it has the black frame. I almost think that maybe a lighter frame on this would work better. I think the black just is a little bit too dark, but it's a really cute frame. And on the back, again, it has the hanging um, stuff on there for you to hang on the wall so you don't have to worry about going to like the hardware store to grab that. So cute new finds. All right, so I'm probably super late to get on the Bolero train, but I did grab some Bolero products. So they, I grabbed the sea, the coconut oil and sea salt. So here is the bath soap. This is a great line of items because there's so many different products. So if you're thinking of doing like a gift basket type thing, you can pick up so many different items. So I grabbed this one. They have the shower gel. I grabbed that. They have the bath bombs. Really cute packaging, it looks super nice. They have the facial wipes. And then I picked up one of the paper facial masks as well. Again, if you have like a female, your kids have a female teacher or you have a female coworker and you just wanna to put together, maybe it's their birthday, maybe you just wanna give them a whatever gift to say, hey, I got you, I made you something, here you go. This is a great gift that you can do for under 10 bucks. I mean, with all these products, you can get a cute little basket and you're good to go. Or maybe for Valentine's Day, maybe for your sister or something, you just wanna you know, give them something or a friend can definitely put these together and you can go as cheap as just grabbing two items and it still looks awesome. And I did get a couple of the, which ones are these? The argan oil and avocado. This is the hand wash. And then I got the body cream and a package of the wipes. I got the shower gel. And then I also grabbed one of the bath soaks. So really cute Bolero products. All right, my store is stocked still with Valentine's items. I can't believe how super stocked they are. Um, they have some really cute coffee mugs. This one said, well, I got the two of the same. They say love conquers all. There were some like more lovey-dovey type sayings, but I thought that these were general mugs. So if I wanted to do, you know, give these away as a gift, I would feel comfortable in doing that. Um, for your Valentine's gifts, if you need tissue paper, they have super cute heart themed tissue paper with the red. This one comes um, 10 sheets. You have four of the printed ones and then six of the solid. I love these little baskets and guys, I've got so many things that I am thinking of doing a Valentine's Day gifting video and I wanna get it up like ASAP talking like 
Friday, possibly. So if you want to see that, drop a comment below and let me know. Let me know who you're looking to buy a gift for, whether it's a friend, whether it's for your kids from Dollar Tree. Remember, do not go out of budget for any holiday. You showing love, spreading love, that is a gift in itself and you don't have to go crazy buying things, but we can definitely do it on a budget, that's for sure. These are a two pack of heart baskets. How cute are these? So they're really cute for gifting and they're really cute for reusing as well. So I grabbed one of those and I was really excited because the decorative shred they actually had in pink. So I thought for Valentine's Day that that would work really well. Um, another gifting idea as far as a basket, they have these cute red baskets. These are great if you wanna do like your Bolero products or things like that. It does say love you on the um, front there, but it's a cute sturdy little basket to put some goodies in. Um, and speaking of goodies, I did find one of these sequin hearts, which is a really cute gift for a gift basket too. You can kind of just stick it in there and then work your items around it. Kind of like a little focal piece there or focus piece, but really cute. Um, and then I did grab one of these decor. Um, it's a paint it yourself. So it says love and it does have little hanging um, pieces on there. So if you wanted to hang it again, like in a collage wall, just with kind of like the pineapples, mixing different things, I'm telling you, it makes it look awesome. You could paint this, maybe if you have like a farmy house, farmy house, a farmhouse kind of theme, you could paint it white and it would look really cute and you can kind of distress it to give it a little distress look, but very, very cute. And this would be cute if you have um, like a coffee bar to kind of like put in your, you know, area where maybe you keep cups or just different coffee supplies for Valentine's Day or any day, really, it would look cute. Um, if you're looking for just cheap little candy, Dollar Tree is perfect. Um, this says Llama Queen. So these have, I think, five pieces of candy in there. And then I just picked up this cute one with the dog and the cute glasses, Happy Valentine's Day. So super fun if you have kids and they want to wear, they look at these cute little headbands. How fun is that? So um, this would be fun for you know them to wear to school just to be a little festive. This one has pink little hearts. There were other ones as well. So I grabbed that. And socks, of course they have really cute socks. Now these are donuts in the shape of a heart. They're super cute pink socks. Grabbed those. Um, I did grab a couple of other things to go ahead and share with you guys. I thought this was amazing, this wall art. So it is a unicorn. Let me go ahead and show you the picture so you can see, look at how beautiful. The colors are just so pretty. Um, but this is going in my daughter's room. And you guys ask about these stickers, how they stick. Um, they do stick for a while, but then they start to peel off of the wall. So she tends to like switch them out, I would say every maybe four to five months. So they, I mean, for a dollar, they last really long and some work better than others I've noticed, but this one was just so pretty. I had to get that for her. So if you have birthdays, check the supply aisle for um, you know, wrapping paper and things like that because they've really revamped it since the last time I've checked at my Dollar Tree. So they have tissue paper, like themed tissue paper. So here we have the cute unicorn with the white tissue paper. Now you get eight sheets, so I'm not sure how many are the printed. It doesn't say on here, but um, super cute. And then for like a superhero theme, they have this tissue paper as well with the red peekaboo. Super, super cute. And I grabbed these stencils. These are number stencils. So they're just the numbers. This is the actual size. There are four sheets. So this is the actual size of the numbers. Um, so I grabbed those. I was hoping to find letter ones. If you've seen letter ones, let me know in the comments below because I would love to get the letter ones as well, but I did grab the numbers. So I am prepping for summer homeschool. I do that with my kids each year. And last year, I'm not gonna lie, we slacked a little bit because 
we were out and about so much in the summer. We were doing a lot of outdoor things and hanging out outdoors that we didn't do as much school as I wanted to. So this year, no excuses. We're staying in the school game. Um, Crayola has a lot of different creative classroom activities. So these are good to just grab a couple. What I'm doing now is I have a tote that I'm putting all of it in because if I don't organize it, I'm not gonna find it and we're not gonna use it. So I'm organizing it for summer school supplies. And the first one is the solar system mobile. So just kind of fun. We'll put this together. We'll talk about the planets. We'll talk, you know, I don't do school for eight hours. If we do 45 minutes a day max, that is perfect. But it's just something that my kids can do. And, you know, they work together on some activities. So it's, you know, a team building activity as well for them. Even though they're eight, and 11 a little different in age it's still important for them to learn to work together and this is the U uh, united states map so this is fun because we can learn different facts about the um, map and things like that and i wanted to do activities about different states or getting different postcards for them just to kind of make it fun through the summer so it doesn't feel like school these I am super pumped teachers out there check these out these are reusable dry erase pockets so you can put their worksheets in here that you print out maybe from Pinterest or from a workbook and they can go ahead and do them they can write their answers you can erase them and you can reuse it again so it's good to do that because if you're printing them from Pinterest sometimes you're printing like crazy and this will save you some ink and some paper so I got green and red, I think they had yellow and some other color as well. Um, I got some pen supplies and pencils. And then this is a multiplication and division time test. This is for grade three. So, um, you know, just to kind of like go off of facts, my daughter is in the second grade, my son is in the fifth grade. So this will be more for my daughter, obviously but um, just fun to kind of do little activities and have them on hand. And then two, Dollar Tree had these cute erase paddles. How fun is this to just, um, you know, utilize these and do some kind of like fun game activity with them, but um, are two-sided paddles. So I just thought, heck, that is gonna be fun. The whole thing about doing summer school is just to make it fun for them so it doesn't feel like a classroom environment, but they're still learning and reading and practicing their math skills. So for the new year of school, they're ready to go. And one thing I do for um, our home summer school is I do like a, you know, how my son has it where he earns tickets throughout um, the week that he can redeem for prizes. So I kind of do a prize box as well to kind of just get them motivated about continuing to learn in the summer because sometimes you just want to have fun and you don't want to keep doing the school thing. So one activity that I think we're going to do is we are going to work on gardening and learning about plants, learning about, you know, oxygen and water and sunlight and all of that stuff, which I know my kids already know a little bit, but doing it hands-on makes it really fun. So for our gardening, I how can you do gardening without gnomes? How stinking cute. So you you should know that I love gnomes. So I picked up this cute one. There were three at my store. And then I picked up this one with the red hat. And then I picked up this one as well, which it almost looked like he was going to pick his nose right there, but he is still cute. And then I picked up these other little gardening houses that I thought would be fun. Um, just a couple, and these are so light. A little mushroom house. and this one a little welcome sign as well all right guys so that is my haul for this week going from no dollar tree to all of this stuff was a lot but i was super excited to go ahead and go remember if you want to see like that little valentine's video on some gifting ideas maybe you have a last minute gift that you need to grab let me know in the comments below so i can get that together asap for you guys Remember, gifting does not have to be on a huge budget. You can do it low scale and it can be amazing as well and have just the same effect as an expensive gift that you may buy. So always keep that in the back of your mind. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree video. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. 
I hope to see you soon. Hopefully Dollar Tree gets more stuff. I think I bought everything new that I saw at my store, so just patiently waiting for some new goodies. So if you've grabbed something good in the Dollar Tree recently, let us know in the comments. Take care, guys.